Wait, little kitty. Don't go anywhere near that dead whale. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked that because you never know when they could explode like a volcano. Seriously? Yes, little kitty. It's a serious concern for many beaches. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore the explosive nature of dead whales and answer an exploding question. Why do dead whales explode? Zoom in! Whales, these fluffy mammals, especially blue whales, are the largest to ever appear on our planet that can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh around 200 tons. Though these creatures rule the ocean, most of their species are on the verge of extinction due to hunting, being struck by ships or natural processes like aging. And when a whale loses its life, in most cases, its body will sink at the bottom of the ocean, after which scavengers like large deep sea sharks, hagfish and others come in to remove soft tissue and break apart the carcass. Later, creatures like Ocidax, Mucoflorus, the bone-eating worm, join the feast to gradually break down the bones. And believe it or not, this entire process can take around 30 years. But on some rare occasion, instead of sinking to the bottom of the ocean, the whale's lifeless body ends up on the beach. And if nothing is done to move this carcass on time, then it will blow up to the point that it could burst like a balloon with tremendous force that could cause severe damage to anything or anyone within its explosive zone. But the vital question is, why do dead whales explode in the first place? Well, let me explain the biology behind it. You see, when a whale dies, its body begins the decomposing process, releasing various gases like carbon dioxide, methane, etc. that start to build up in its stomach and other large internal organs. And as the whale has strong blubber, a thick layer of vascularized fatty tissue under the already tough skin, these gases have no way to escape. As a result, it creates a highly acidic environment in the cells, rupturing their membranes and causing their tissue to break down. At the same time, the bacteria already present in the body starts to feed on the carbohydrates and proteins present in these broken tissues in a process called putrefaction. In this process, the organs begin to liquefy and release more carbon dioxide, nitrogen and methane, making the carcass bloat like a balloon, sometimes twice its original size. And when the body can no longer handle the high pressure, the liquid and gases burst through natural openings like the mouth, rectum or other weak spots. But you'll be surprised to know that the whale's body can handle a lot of pressure and these explosions are usually caused by humans. Yes, many times people will try to climb on a dead whale or the beach crew will move it, causing a rupture in the skin, leading to a massive explosion resulting in severe injuries. Also, there is a chance of coming into contact with deadly bacteria on the carcass's skin that can spread infectious diseases. And that's why we are advised to stay away from a whale's corpse and let it bury on the spot on its own and decompose naturally. Trivia time! Did you know 
There are around 2,000 whale strandings recorded worldwide every year. Also, there are two types of whales, toothed and baleen. To know more about these giants, please check out our videos Evolution of Whales and What if a whale swallows you? The links are in the description below. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, oh no. Never mind. <laughs>